Today we're gonna be doing like a mukbang slash story times, which I don't know what stories I'm gonna get to right now, but let's go. So right now I'm gonna show y'all like my little tamales over there. So I'm okay. I'm gonna explain what my tamales my tamales have first. So I put lettuce and ranch and salsa, but my tamales are from beans, so. But first, we're just gonna have a little snack. Cause I saw it and I wanted it. Okay, but the first story I'm gonna be saying is when. Um, I don't know. <sighs> My first story time is gonna be when I went to the movies. No. I don't know what story. When I um I really don't know. Okay, the first story is gonna be when I first cut my hair. The first, like, not the first time, but when I was, like, older. I was, um, in sixth grade, so I was, like, 10 years, I believe, or 11. So, my hair was this long, too, and right now it's wet, so I can't do nothing with it right now. But, when I cut my hair, I was 11, how I said, and my Tia's and my cousins influenced me to cut my hair because they were gonna cut their hair. Okay, but yeah, um, my my family influenced me to cut my hair if I could grow more and stuff. I guess so. I cut it and I donated it. I cut it like up to here, and I donated my hair to the people that have cancer. But that day, I don't know. I was just like, I'm not feeling myself. So, I'm gonna like change myself, I guess. I don't know. But I don't know why I cut it. I don't know. But I guess it was a good thing to cut it for all of this hair to grow back. I don't know. But then to my cousins and my tia and my grandma that I cut it. So, right now we're just gonna go to the tacos already. I mean, the tamales. I want tacos. And I just took off my nails too, so ignore that. Okay, my other story is... I'm sorry. My other story is when... I don't know. I don't know what stories to say. I'm new to it. Okay, but but I'm gonna be saying the story time when I moved to Colorado for my first time, and I'll be soon doing a video going to over there. I don't know, but the first time I moved over there. Okay, this is like a long story. I was sleeping right because I got um out of. I got home from school, and this is when the tamales come in hand. So, I was sleeping, right? And um, my parents just, like, decided to move over there. I don't know. Like, it wasn't planned. We don't plan nothing. Like, to go visit stuff, we don't plan that. And, yeah, I... They just decided right, and, we, and that day we had a pizza. I don't know why that matters, but yeah, we ate pizza, and I was it was like on a Thursday, 
And I remember the next day I was going to take a test. And I was like, oh shit, like, I'm going to take a test. All right, and... Uh, and I don't know, it was just like, like all random, right? And they woke me up from my nap. And they were like, pack your stuff up and we're leaving. And I was like, leaving where? They got me like off minded. Sorry, my little sister's like right there. But yeah, um, but yeah, um, it was just all random to me, and I was like all shocked that I didn't tell my friends, my friends, right? Well, back then, and I was like sad because it was my first time like leaving from Texas where I live, like my home state, right? And I was going to move somewhere really new to me cold new school everything so we went and my first time meeting my tias too i believe so yeah it was just so random like i don't know i wasn't expecting that and i was just like really right now so yeah and i was really sad like going over there like because i didn't tell my friends and at that time i didn't have a phone because i was only in second grade I believe. So I didn't have a phone. And it was at the beginning of the school year. We had like already a month in school that I had started. So it was my first like it was it was the beginning of the school year and then I was making new friends in second grade. So yeah. So we moved over there, right? We already over there, everything for school. It was really, really hard at first because over there it's english english and right here it's spanglish so the english was really difficult for us because all we knew was spanglish which is spanish right and english but yeah mm -mm. it was really really hard but later on, I'll be telling you stories, like from Colorado, what happened to us and everything. But now, I'll be telling you a story. Okay. When I was over there, like, tornadoes are land over there, I guess. Land over there, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Tornadoes go over there, and me and my older cousins, we were... Outside, well, we were getting ready for her 15, like cleaning me and everything, right? Getting the food ready before the day before her 15. And there was a tornado, and all the little kids well, I was a little kid too, right? We all like went to the basement, and um, me and her got out. We were like, let's go and see the tornado. So we went, and it was like at the corner of the neighborhood they lived at. And it was like right there. It was a small tornado, but it was right there at the corner of the neighborhood. And the tornado alarms or whatever they're called, they were turning on like, ding, ding, you know. And it was like horrible. Well, it wasn't horrible, but it was scary. And then she was like, damn, I didn't bring my phone to take a picture of it. And we just ran back to the house where no one could know. Like our parents, before they wouldn't know we got out. From the basement. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cut it out. <laughs> so yeah, we were like in shock that we saw a tornado like really, really close. But in Colorado, we did a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And then, um, when, I don't know, these stories are just going everywhere, right? But when, um, I hate, 
I hate presenting in school, and this was a year ago. So the teacher was like, Julissa, your turn. And I was like, okay, I could talk a lot, like if I know you, but if you someone makes me talk, I get really, really shy and I start like to panic because I don't know like what to say. I forget everything. So I was panicking. I was like, oh shit, you know? And then what I do is I talk really, really. And so I panic a lot for so the my time. My lips are still full. Um, but yeah, I was really scared and she kept saying, Julissa, explain what you're saying. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. Like, talk clearly, right? And I got really mad. Like, I didn't get really mad, but is it because I hate when people call me out? Like, I just don't like it. Or I don't think no one likes it, but I just don't like it. So I was really embarrassed because I don't like talking to people. Like, being in the, being the person, like, with the whole, like, the, like, Basically, I was done with that. I was like, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know I ate a little bit. I'll eat more for y'all, a little bit more. But hope you all like this video. And yeah. That's for thumbnail. Thumbnail. What, what did I say? I don't know. I hope y'all enjoy it and I'm going to finish those tamales off camera. But I was having my little drink from BA or whatever. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in my next video. And my next video might be a pumpkin. Craving a pumpkin patch. Pumpkin so stage. I mean, a craving a pumpkin. So stay tuned for my next video. And I hope y'all like this video. Bye, guys.